Welcome back to the program. It is now six and a half minutes after eight. That's Sydney, New South Wales, Daylight Saving Time. Oh, wow. I've been looking forward to this all week. Emma Hurst is with us from the Animal Justice Party. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. It's great to have you on the program. That's right. You're on the right. Uh, I've got the right microphone there. <laughs> How are you, Em? You good? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm hoping for a little bit less rain now that we've had a good refresh, but yeah. it'd be nice to get some sun back. It would, <laughs> wouldn't it? Uh, absolutely. Now, we've what we're going to do, we're going to uh, talk to you about uh, what's happening with the Animal Justice Party and, and policies and some really good reforms that are on the cards uh, for animal welfare in New South Wales, which mm-hmm. is wonderful. I'll get to that. But what we want to do, first of all, is... And they brought dogs. Yeah. They got one puppy. <laughs> anyway, what we want to do is talk about these wonderful animals that have been brought in from the New South Wales Animal Welfare League. Good morning, Sam and Lana. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So Sam has Connor uh, with uh, with him. Now, Connor is a terrier cross border collie, around six to eight months old. So he's he's a he's still a puppy. And uh, Connor, are you going to speak to us or what? Speak? Yeah, sort no. of. <laughs> so what can He's you... too well behaved. <laughs> yeah, he's been a good boy. So what is, what's Connor's background? Look, we under, well, as I understand it, yeah. he was actually on death row. Um, so the Animal Welfare League has actually worked with regional councils. Now, a lot of these council pounds don't have enough space to take in every animal that is dropped to them. Oh um, so the Animal Welfare League has been building relationships with a lot of these regional councils. And Connor was on the, on the kill list. Um, because they didn't have space for him until the Animal Welfare League came and rescued him. And how many, uh, is this something that you guys do often, the Animal Welfare League, they have to step in uh, because animals are on their way to being euthanised? Is that a common occurrence, Emma? Look, there are a lot of companion animals right across Australia that are still being euthanised. There's just more dogs than there are people that are wanting to actually take these animals into their homes Um, and obviously that's why we as the Animal Justice Party are always pressing that we need to adopt rather than shop. Um, Mm. There are amazing animals that are in pounds and shelters and with rescue groups like the Animal Welfare League, like these Mm. two beautiful dogs that we have here today. It's a good saying isn't it? Adopt, don't shop. Mm. Uh, And certainly steer clear of bloody puppy farms. Yes, absolutely. I mean are they, I know you're trying to out law them and you're making some headway in parliament on that but are they still a major problem poppy for a puppy farms oh it's absolutely enormous um mm. we've heard reports that there are at least 200 puppy farms in new south wales now we know that that number is increasing at the mm. moment because there's legislation in in other states like victoria which have effectively outlawed puppy farming so we're hearing from councils particularly on the borderline of mm. victoria and new south wales that they're shutting up from victoria and just moving into new south wales so the problem's getting worse in so this state so why don't we have a national uh, type of um uh, system on this why is it that in victoria they're illegal but here in new south wales we haven't stamped them out yet look most animal welfare laws are state-based um mm. that's why you see things like the act have banned the battery cage egg farming okay. but in new south wales it's still legal mm. um so there's a lot of different various laws unfortunately between state to state mm. um but obviously with the puppy farming issue um western australia is now also making moves to outlaw puppy Good. farming. Mm. Um, so hopefully this is also building pressure to get the well, same thing happening here. I mean, Emma, it's no brainer. Oh, I mean, puppy yeah. farms should be banned Australia wide. Yeah, absolutely. Who's your federal counterpart on this? Um, so is there anybody? Well, I mean, look, the Greens are obviously against um, puppy farming as well. Um, Labor has taken a fairly strong stance. Um, It was obviously a Labor government in Victoria who actually banned the puppy farming. Mm -hmm. Um, So we're obviously working with the Greens and Labor here in New South Wales as well to try to get the same laws passed. Okay. All right. Well, Lana is also (laughs) with us from the Animal Justice uh, League, Animal Welfare League, sorry. Uh, And uh, Lana has Poppy. With, now, Poppy's a, a senior. Poppy's gorgeous. She's a cross Labrador Dachshund, uh, so sausage dog, and she's nine and a half years young. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's how we get him to talk. You start talking about Poppy instead. That's right. See, see Connor, um, who's the terrier uh, cross border collie, who's only a pup still. <laughs> Connor's obviously very jealous, and <laughs> what's happening is Poppy is getting a lot of love at the moment, <laughs> and uh, Connor's not happy about it. But tell me about Poppy. 
I mean, she's uh, she's older. I mean, that's that's what worries me when it comes to rescuing animals. Uh, are the is Poppy at a, a risk of not being picked up because of her age? Look, I think that the thing is, there's different dogs for different homes. Mm -hmm. So you look at somebody um, like Poppy, and she's a very calm dog. Um, she's not overly energetic. She's going to fit really easily into any family. She's now, beautiful. There's programs like Seniors for Seniors, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. So you think about somebody. You keep talking. I'm yeah, going to have a okay. Yeah, you go play with the yeah. dogs. <laughs> But you think about um, a family that is not as active, that will want to take her for a short 20-minute walk every day, then she's going to be the perfect dog for that family because she's got a very calm temperament. Or somebody also with young children that aren't familiar or have, are fearful of dogs. She's just so calm. She's uh, beautiful. And I, can, I mean, look at, look at you with her now. Like, she's just, she's a lap dog. <laughs> Um, Can I take you home? Can I take you home? Yeah. I'll have to ask. Poppy's just absolutely beautiful. So Poppy was in a family and she ended up getting attacked by another dog. Oh, really? So that's why Poppy's with the Animal Welfare League, because yeah. sometimes dogs don't get along. Yeah. And that's one of the other reasons why a dog might end up in a pound. And I think that that's an, another important story to go through, because yep. we need to... Sometimes people think that if animals end up at pounds or shelters or rescue groups, that there's something wrong with them, that they're, they've got behavioural problems or something. And obviously it's that's not, not the case. the case. No. That's absolutely not the no. case. She yeah. just didn't, wasn't suitable for the family that she was living with, um, but she's going to be perfect with All someone right. else. Okay, so we've, uh, we're, we're, we're videoing this, <laughs> and Justin, get a close-up of these two beautiful animals. No, not me and Emma. <laughs> <laughs> these two. Uh, Connor and Poppy. Now, if you or anybody you know is after a uh, an animal, a companion animal, you'll be able to give it a loving, safe home. You need to get in contact with the Animal Welfare League and just say, I saw on the Marcus Paul in the morning on 2SM show with Emma Hurst, uh, these beautiful dogs, and we're interested in Connor or we're interested in Poppy. Okay, so uh, let's try, if we can, to find a forever loving home and a safe environment for these two gorgeous animals. Hey? Eh? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it.